is up you what's cool to you what's happening it's time for life and it's also time for not another love after lockup but today we're going to do life after lockup so the last love after lockup um week that i did apparently was the mid-season finale they never tell nobody but that's what it was so now we're looking at life after lockup and these are whole different couples so i'll give a very brief summary before we start and yeah we're just gonna get into it the other couples will come back at some point but i'm sure because of koro everything is all mixed up and everything is all like wild and crazy and they're figuring themselves out but in the meantime they still have given us some couples to look at so yeah now we're gonna look at sarah and michael now sarah and michael michael is the one who went to prison and sarah is his actual wife and um, they had a baby i think before he went in there or during because during happens too um and then he came out and they had another baby but he was messing around with other people and stuff like that now she's gotten another boyfriend as well he's now sort of kind of single and and the interesting thing is when he was talking to her his baby mama he was also talking to another chick who is now completely out of the picture he completely dumped her and wanted nothing to do with her it was crazy it was like a love triangle it was a whole mess but anyway, that's all you need to know for now. They're going to have a birthday party for their one-year-old. And he doesn't know that she's got a new boyfriend. So he's not going to be happy about that. Because when he had a new girlfriend, she wasn't happy about that. And he didn't, she didn't want him to take the kids um, away where the other girl would be present and stuff like that. So now they're having his birthday party and he's going to show up. He hasn't called in days. He hasn't been reachable. But he's going to show up, so he says, to this birthday party. And the new boyfriend is there. And so all hell's gonna break out because this guy, yeah, it's just gonna be drama. So we're gonna get right on into it. So this, these people, they've been following these people for two years plus. And I think I actually, I actually did review them some those two years ago. But anyway, now their life has evolved and now it is life after lockup. Okay, so this is the first out of this week that I'm gonna explain like this and all the other couples, I will not be bothering myself to explain it into great depth. Let's get right on in Sarah and Michael. Uh, we got lots of family and friends coming. Malcolm's meeting my family for the first time. I haven't heard from him. Malcolm showed up, Malcolm brought a gift for my daughter. It's insane that even the day of the party, 10 minutes before people are supposed to show up, you still haven't heard from them. So that's um, Sarah's best friend. She's always been around. She's been around when Sarah's had so many breakdowns because of Michael. Michael wasn't calling. Michael wasn't doing anything. Michael was running around in these streets. And this friend was always there. I'll send you the address and where what? So this is crazy. Literally 10 minutes or so before the party is supposed to start. Here comes Michael and he's asking about the address and he's, he's, he's trying to find his way over there. But she wanted to do the proper thing, which is have him come a few days early and kind of ease him into the idea of her having a boyfriend. But you know, he was slow and he says it's because of things he can't control that he wasn't there earlier. So now he's coming and he's coming to meet this guy for the first time. This is a whole mess. She tried to do the right thing, but then again, I don't know if she should have just texted him, look, this is the situation, because now he just doesn't know at all. And he's going to be furious. He's going to be furious. So she's trying to tell him that, that she's going to send the address, and he's in the car. He can't even hear what the heck it is that she's saying. Hey, what you say? I will send you the address. What she said before that? What she said before that was uh, four minutes before the party, you're, you're, like she made some kind of remark about him, like, she made some kind of remark about him like now asking very shortly before the party is about to start. Like the, 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 it, the whole thing is a mess. The whole thing is a mess. I don't really know what to say about it. And what's interesting is that he had a whole conversation with his mom. And his mom was like, yeah, at least you're stepping up. There's a lot of people who don't have a dad and you're trying to be a dad. Okay, but if you're trying to be a dad and it's causing this much effort from the mom and it's causing this much distress, are you really trying to be a dad though out of your own free will, out of the goodness of your heart and properly? Like he is doing it half ass. Like he's doing it, like he's doing the bare minimum. But his mom is praising him for doing the bare minimum. Maybe I'll, I'll warn him away from everybody. Oh, and uh, uh boyfriend is inside. Should be interesting. <sighs> so even Sarah's friend is like putting her hand on on dude because. 
yeah he seems like a cool calm guy and it's about to go down because michael did arrive been in a relationship with somebody and he's here i'm not gonna meet no it's not about it so like i said he doesn't want to meet this guy i mean it's too quick like he needs time to process but then he should have come earlier because that's exactly what she was trying to tell him like come earlier but she didn't say why but it shouldn't matter you have two small kids one is turning one okay you have two small kids like you just if somebody's asked you to come earlier at least even come earlier to spend time with those kids but he i don't know what was keeping him like what was making him caught up but he did not show and yeah now this is the surprise you got all these people up in there right now, bro. she's trying to get him to not cause a scene she does not want him to cause a scene in there because at this point all her family and friends are there it's like her friend pointed out actually why is he coming why is he there because all the family and friends are around and they don't like him and nobody can fault them for that because he's not being a good dad to these kids he's not being around so and he hasn't been faithful that's another thing so all the family is there so why he wanted to come on this day specifically and not a few days before so that he can spend time with his kids is beyond me now i can go get him and you can meet him out here respectfully I'm not meeting. you ain't coming at him like how is he saying he's not meeting him how can how can he not meet him the guy's already at the party like what do you mean i'm not meeting him how do you like how do you do that the guy is standing there just gonna ignore him the whole party already nobody likes you like this is a very awkward position to be in but anyway so now he's barging into the party because he had to drive quite a few hours to get to where this party is so and the producers give us a leg shot if you don't know what i mean check it out that don't know why these producers be showing us weird things they be all up in uh, uh chevelle's hair from the other season well they've merged the seasons it's very weird it's love after lockup and they they continue this the season and the episodes but this is actually life after lockup i really don't know what they're doing uh they could have split it but they they really maybe can't because of coro they might not have enough footage to do life after lockup separately and love after lockup se separately so they've just joined them together i don't know um it is up to them we're here for it anyway i follow both basically i follow this one roughly i've missed quite a few episodes so um but yeah i i know the gist of it in any case this one this one is just dry i i don't know what to say i'm gonna leave it at that and i'm about to see you tomorrow <laughs> Um, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bomb stomp as on the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Is Michael gonna cause a scene or is he gonna be normal? Is Sarah's family gonna cause a scene? Are the kids gonna be happy walking around there with all these grown bum people causing a scene? I don't know. And um, yeah, while you're at it, hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you more daily videos up in here. And it's not only love after lockup, it's not only life after lockup. This is a lifestyle channel, so we do everything up in here. I would hope to see you share this with anybody you think would be interested. And see you soon. God bless. Mm -hmm.